I'm standing here while the wind is pushing me back. That's not a very good idea. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwa Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Subspace Emissary. So now we're going to go through more of the Great Maze right here. Of course we are. I mean, what else would we be even doing? So, I went all the way from the room that we exited last time, and I went to the second blue light on the far left. Enter that door, and that's where I am. You could follow that, right? I, I'm pretty sure I don't have to put any sort of editing up there, don't I? I don't. Because I just don't. Alright, so over here we got Meta Knight here, we get, who we gotta fight. And of course, uh, I was wondering if I could spike him, but nope. Actually, actually, the fan, if I could get it from him, because I really, really want it. I want it. Actually, I can't. Alright, ooh, blue, I said blue shell instead of green shell, but then again, uh, I didn't really want the fan anyway. Boom! Out of here. Get out. Son. Alright, so I do believe we have to go all the way back. No, we don't. Okay, cool. So now we're entering the the uh, ruined zoo again. This time, we got mother music. Woo! So edge. It's over the edge. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tick ends. Tick ends, okay. Cool. Alright, so as you can plainly tell, this is a completely different part of this of uh, this stage of course actually it's totally it's totally not the same part as we did before nope it's definitely not um let's see oh we got a door here to the other thing so by my calculations i i'm assuming that this leads to another character i do know this leads to another save point but uh yeah yeah that's what i'm doing <laughs> that is what i'm doing indeed just gotta avoid these guys right here, and... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, that leads to a save door. Leading to a save door. Oh, come on, come on, let's go. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. That is what I'm talking about indeed. Alright, let's go. Yep, all you really need to do is just to stand on it. Uh, press B, and then there you go. You're all, you're all healed up, and you're ready to go on to the next one. And I do believe that one leads to another boss that we gotta fight. Actually, I don't think it leads to a boss at all. I think it leads to... Yep. It just leads to a regular area. Ow. Come on. There we go. Now we enter the door, and let's see where this leads. Oh, uh, I believe... Yeah, this leads to another part of the thing. So, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore all these enemies. I'm just gonna ignore them. Don't really... It's worth anything to just... To just uh, fight them, except for these guys. Some guys I cannot, absolutely cannot get past. Absolutely cannot. Bam, boom, and then we suck a dick. Okay, there we go. So now, so now I have a hammer. So that means I can easily just bust through these enemies, no problem. Bam. Except for those mines. Those mines are bad. They're bad. And I do believe this leads to a boss fight of sorts. Yep, it does. So now we're fighting Poke, Pokey. I almost call him Pokey. Yes, we're fighting Porky again. So now this time, well, does Peach seem taller? I'm thinking she does. <laughs> I can swear she's like taller here than in any other part. I swear. Yep. All you really got to do is just to spam moves, and there you go. That's how you take down bosses. Alright, so get the Star Rod. And kill you. Kill you. Kill you. And get him with the Umbrella of Madness. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually killed killed Porky with the Umbrella? That would have been funny, except uh, Peach is dead. So, yeah. Can't really do anything about that. Let's not kill him with Link, though. Killing him with Link is awesome. Alright, so I believe next... Oh, it's just another part to the thing, okay. So now, I, so now at the very least, we do have a way back to a place that we've already been to. 
Ah, oh my god. This, uh, just commentating this is going to be the worst thing on my own. I, uh... Then again, that's probably the price... That's probably the price of playing Subspace Emissary. Your commentary is not going to be the best in the world. And probably your headphones are not going to be jacked into there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ow. I'm, and I'm also not going to have the scammy guy, like, ruin my day. Nope. Especially not that prim idiot. I pretty much have to get past this guy. But yeah, the commentary's not going to be the best. And you're just going to be all like, let's go over here, and then blah, and then blam, and then bam, and then boom, boom, ba 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 That's the price, that's the price you have to pay in order to save a life. But now, thank God, we're, like, near a healing point and where I can switch characters. So, I might as well just swap out characters in any way I wish. So, of course, I'm gonna be the one... I'm gonna be playing as the one who's waiting in the wings, Lucas, first. Then, who am I gonna pick? Might as well pick DK. Um... I will get... Yoshi? Then... Hmm. I will have Ness. All right, cool. Now uh, I do believe next, next we have to go back to the thing because I do believe a certain Earthbound series character is going to fight us next on our little excursion. So why don't we just why don't we just hop aboard these things and we go over here to places. All right. So anyway, we gotta go to the left, and now that we have Lucas by our side, we can go over here. Two, two. Oh, Ness, Coolio. All right. So now we gotta fight Ness. All right. All right. Come on. Come on, you fool. Yeah. And strangely, you're playing Mother Three Sounds. That's not the game where Ness is from. You're, you're, you're Jingle Butts. There, he's from Mother Two. Or Earthbound, whatever you want to call it. They're all the same game anyway. Actually, it's actually it's not really the same game. Actually, it is. All right, come on. I'm not even hitting anybody with a uh, anything anymore. Anyway, oh, you are out of here. They are out of here, like last year, baby. Yeah. I like how I got that kill though. The kill was good. Okay, so, yeah, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> so, uh, now we have to go all the way back over to the place where we originally intended on starting, which is the second hub. Yeah. As you can tell, this is gonna be a nightmare to navigate. Yes. A very hard thing to navigate because, well, no matter how many times you play Subspace Emissary, you're never gonna, you're never gonna look forward to this place. Not one bit. Because, well... Remember how I said about basically a uh, subspace emissary is your way of getting like all the secret characters in the game without having to fight them in order to unlock them? Well, if you do indeed want everybody assembled, or at least most of them, uh, you're gonna have you're gonna have to go through subspace emissary like all of it, yes, including including the great maze as well, in order to get all the characters. Yeah. All excruciating eight hours worth of playing. <laughs> yeah, excruciating eight hours worth of playing. And, yeah, I wasn't really intending on counting on... Ow! Uh, I wasn't really intending on... And I wasn't really intending on my wheat, my first wheat getting broken after all these years. So, yeah, you can imagine my pain after... After playing through Subspace Emissary again way back when in the good old 2000, uh, 2011. That was the same year when I when I first got my uh, new Wii. And uh, Skyward Sword and all that. And all that hooba dooba. Because I needed a new one. Hoobie dooby doo. And all that good stuff. So, yeah. I, I just spent the majority of my day just uh, going through Subspace like I usually do. Look, going through levels is not that bad. Going through the Great Maze is an entirely different story altogether. Basic and to the point, Great Maze sucks. As a level. Yeah. And as a final level, too. An, all, an, an otherwise okay 
little thing. Strange. And strangely, and strangely, when fighting Olimar, when fighting Olimar, you actually do get expizzled to, uh, to freaking, to freaking, eh, uh, uh, gourmet race music. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I can't say things for stuff. You can tell, right? You can tell. Yeah. So anyway, there's nothing really else here, according to the map. Uh, not to worry, because once you take a full lap around the Great Maze, uh, your map will be automatically filled in for you. Kinda wish it was in the first place. But hey, it's what they do. It's what they do in order to save people. Without actually saving people. And I'm getting murdered by mites. Of course I am. Okay, so now we got another central hub. And now let's actually switch up characters. Actually, I'm going to keep on Yoshi. And I'm going to swap out stuff. Alright, so Yoshi first. Ness. Then I'm going to go with... Yeah, actually, Falco. And... Hmm. Who do I do? How do we do? Eh, I'm going to go with Snake. Why not? Sure. Might as well keep the selection interesting. Because, because like, Falco is something... Is, like, a character I never, ever play as in Brawl. Obviously. Alright, so I believe next we go over here. Um... Wait, wait, hold on. What was that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's a way we actually can go. Alright, so kill you and kill all these hammer bros and stuff with the thing. And garbage. And garbage. I can't even make sense anymore. My commentary is just that boring. <laughs> yep, honestly, it's just going to be boring from this point onward. Alright, so in here. In here, we got another character we got to fight. And it is DK. Yay. And you know what? These would be actually bullshit layouts for stages. Just saying. Where we've been fighting all these uh, shadow things. Uh, well, this layout is certainly BS in tow. Somebody's been messing with the stage editor. And you know what? That background is pretty cool. I wish I wish the regular game would have that, but no. No. They, 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 they can go to die for all I care. All I just know is that DK is now deaded. And now we have here. See, this is why you need to defeat, like, all, every single character and every boss. Yeah, seriously. You have to beat every character and every boss in order to reach Taboo. Which he is indeed beyond the door. So, yeah. That's your way, that's your basic way to, uh, taboo. Alright, so let's keep on going. And we got another, we got another door here. Let's see what we have in store. We have Samus in store. And of course, now it's the, now it's her appropriate music. Yeah, now it's her appropriate music. Yeah, yeah, this is seriously Metroid music that's being used here. And like... Every other character is not using Metroid music. Could have added in more, like, epic sounding songs, but instead Pikmin has to have, like, freaking gourmet race. Um, and stuff. So. Alright, so what are we going? To oh, this place is huge. And, yeah, this is probably my good time for you to, for, for best advice here. Best advice. Just follow the map. You'll be hunky-dory with the owl. Didn't honestly know there were things there. Okay. Alright, so where you go, sir? Which character are we to bound to, to, to? And, uh, Pikachu. Cool. And now you actually have pretty badass sounding music. That's Victory Road from Ruby and Sapphire. Alright, get him in spite! Oh, come on, man. You can't do this to me! All right, spike! Oh, come on! I spiking is fun. I don't care. Spiking opponents is fun in Smash. Spiking opponents is fun in Smash. It's seriously, it's seriously one of my more guilty pleasures in four. Just spiking with Mario or anyone, or just yeah, just anyone in general. All right, ow! Come on, come on, Pika! 
can't can't deal with me. And oh come on. Alright. Alright, go! Nope. Surprise! Hey! Hey! Sunny boy! Son! You cannot deal with me! Cause I'm cool like that. Alright, so anyway. Uh let's see. We now we now I'm assuming we have to use this key here to do something. This this key leads to somewhere, and I'm gonna find it, and it's right here. Alright, so this is our way to the lower levels. And oh, we got two doors right here. One leads to one way and the other leads to another way. In which I'm assuming is a dead end. Yeah, sorry, I have to look at things, okay? I have to look for things on the map because that's... That is just how the Great Maze is. I'm sorry, but it is. Something tells me I should have streamed this. <laughs> that would have been all... That would have all been a part in its own right. Just me streaming the Great Maze and stuff. Yeah. And I couldn't... And I could have just dragged my friends over... All over to it, but... I highly doubt they'll be a part of this. <laughs> yep. Especially with the way this this thing has been going. But we do have a door right here. So, let us see. Let us see what lies ahead for good old Ness. And it's Rob. With Game & Watch's music. Alright. You know what? This brings me to something. You know, we have these, uh... These subspace stages and junk... If they were actually, if they were actually stages in the game, we would have had some pretty sweet. Blah, 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 blah. We would have had some pretty sweet music in that. Like, we would have had those uh, subspace tracks in there. Those subspace tracks are pretty cool. Ow. Jeez. Jeez, man. We would have had like sweet subspace tracks in there, but no. Instead, we have like randomly selected tracks from franchises that I don't even know. That would have been cool. To see, see, this is this is what happens when you. This is the price of paying for subspace. Well, okay, I could have spiked him right there, but nope. Ha ha, ha ha, fire! Oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we got Rob done. So that thing is activated. So now there's no way to go except go back. Now, come on, there we go. And by the way, I didn't practice beyond this point. <laughs> yep, no practice from me. So, yep, I'm gonna be stumbling a lot, and my cor and of course I'm gonna be stumbling a lot. So bear with me, man. Bear with me. At least my thought is better. And, whoa, I don't think we've ever actually been in this particular area of factory at all. No, we haven't. We haven't actually. Uh, yeah, this is a completely new part of, uh, of a subspace bomb factory that apparently is not in the final version of the level. <laughs> this is only used for beta testing. I don't know if that's true or not, but it looks like it. It certainly does look like it, but nope, it isn't. No, sir. So now we gotta use this key to open the blue switch. And then that will that will cert most certainly open up the way to what I'm assuming is Ridley. Yeah, I'm assuming this is Ridley now. All right. So anyway, what do we have in our fair storage? What do we have beyond the door number of three? Yep, Ridley. All right. So speaking of Ridley, Sakurai has already made his piece about why about why Ridley is not going to be a playable character in Smash Bros. because. He wouldn't be the Ridley. Did anyone else think of that? Nope. I probably harped on like Ridley too much. I mean, I'm sure he would have been a cool character if he, if they made him like that. But, but it's just the fact that so many people freaking asked for him that it kind of got tiring at points. Even I, even I, with all my Nintendo loving goodness, have to criticize the community. Yeah, I can criticize the community if I want to. I'm not going to be all like, Nintendo is so perfect, Ugh. No. I am not going to be one of those people. Thank the- Whoa. Okay, now I've gotten hit by that attack. Since I've expertly explained what that did, it's basically dive bombs you to heck him back. Of course. Alright, so- BOOM! 
out of here like la like 2014. All right. So what do we got? What do we got now? All right. So now we got another central hub here. Cool. So thankfully, I can finally swap out my characters. Thank God. Um. So anyway, let's see. Who am I gonna do now? Hmm. I might as well be with characters that I'm good at because, well, even though I do want variety in the characters that I choose, I'm definitely not good with every single character that I come across as. So, actually, yeah, Luigi goes second. Lucas, and then Mario. Yeah, if you don't pick your character that's not in your not in your current roster, uh, the thing is not going to load as fast, per se. Yeah, it's not going to really load as fast. Instead, it's going to load pretty slowly. Now, uh, is there any uh, things in here? Is there any dark things? Well, there are two. One of them certainly has to lead to uh, a boss or a character. Uh, and yeah, there's also the dark mist here as well. Yeah, a thing in a central hub that can actually kill you. Wonderful. Alright, so we got Mario. Hey, I already have Mario in the party. What the heck, what the heck is this? Well, at the very least, it's playing the airship theme, so that's good. It's good, it's a good theme. It's a good theme. Ooh, lucky. Unless, of course, this is a squeaky. Go to hammer. And it's not! Yeah, something that I probably didn't mention about the golden hammer is that even though it is pow it is a powerful item, yes. But sometimes sometimes the golden hammer will sometimes be be just squeaky and not anything else. Yeah, unfortunate as that is. Yeah. But the good but the good news is it makes a funny sound. At least that's what at least that's what Sakurai says. Anyway, what the heck am I doing? I should probably just I should probably just go back and just, you know, go through that other do door that we didn't go through before in that big area where I was at. Because I want to go through a sing every single door in the area. I don't care. I'm going for it, and all of you are going to watch me do it. All of you will watch me do it, in fact. Not in that way, pervs, no. Uh, 22 minutes. Okay, we can keep going. I can keep going! I don't care. This great maze is long. And uh, these, and as a result, these videos are going to be long, unless I get really sick. So, so you better appreciate me for what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you better appreciate me for what I'm doing, because, well, Great Maze is long. And, of course, I want to get through this as quickly as possible. So, yeah. Anyway, of course, this leads to another golden door. So, at the very least, you can save or recover your HP, whatever, or... <laughs> what is this HP nonsense? Of course, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's basically a room where you can heal. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so we now know at the very least that's a point where you can save, so that's cool. All right, so now we got to go all the way back to the place that we need to go because I am Russian for some reason. I don't know, I don't know what gave me this accent. Alright, so I do believe we have to go over there next. Alright, let's do! Uh, I want to go over here next. Because that will lead to things. So now we're here in the wilds, per se. Not per se, we actually are in the wilds. And I didn't mean to press the B. No, I did not mean to hold the B. I mean to go up here. Because we have to climb up this thing. And uh, apparently the screen likes to scroll on to... Whoa! <sighs> those, those boulders always hit me. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing about those boulders right there that I want to talk about for like five minutes. Those boulders, no matter what, they always hit me and I don't know why. Maybe to just do that because they do that. I don't know how, but they just, they just do. Oh, and I thought... And I thought I was going to die. Thank God I didn't. Wow. <laughs> and that thing was a wall! Cool! That's cool that walls happen. I guess. Anyway, uh, there's only one door in this area. So, we, whoa, whoa. Thanks, thanks for launching me the, that way, by the way. 
Thanks for watching me. That was cool. That was cool of you. Now as a reward, I'm going to ignore you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. And strangely enough, that doesn't lead to a door. That's strange. Betting this area will lead to a thing. Yeah, there's so many, there's like so many areas in the Great Maze that like, that lead to things. It's, it's, eh. It's just eh. <laughs> I can't help but go eh whenever I go through this place. And yeah, this place is kind of merc, kind of like merciless the first time playing through because yeah, you're gonna have a really, really hard time just going through this place alone on your first playthrough. On your first playthrough, at most, two hours. If you know what you're doing, probably like an hour, hour or 15 minutes. But regardless, now we got Gallium here as the boss fight. Uh, well, well, oh, whoa, how did I, how did I dodge that? Well, I suppose I'm dodging it because I'm cool like that. Well, then again, I did learn from the best, after all. Playing Smash Brothers with my brother has taught me, has taught me a lot of things. Like, dodging as Mewtwo is a very good thing. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't believe, like, like, you don't want to go up against my brother as Mewtwo. I mean, when he's playing Mewtwo. Because that, because that would be, because that would be a very bad thing because he's so annoying with the dodging. So that's how I learned to dodge. Whether it be in Kid Icarus, Uprising, or anything else, dodging is is always a very good thing. Well, okay, now he's surprisingly a lot faster. This is, okay, so I did set it to hard mode like I usually do. It's just that Gallium's going like really fast in this one. So now I have to employ every single dodging tactic that I can. Like that. <laughs> yep, playing things on like, well, I, I, I barely get, I barely get past that part. And now I want to finish him off with that move. Oh, come on. I guess. Ah! Jesus Christ. Jeez. This guy goes by really fast, man. All right. Die! Oh, come on. And I've gotten stuck there. All right. Just fucking die! <laughs> and that's how. And that's. And that's the story of how I killed a transforming robot with my two with my life that's how I killed him true so now we got yet another central hub hooray so now we can warp to pretty much everywhere else in the great maze as well so with that being said I am going to swap characters now um, I'm going for Pikachu uh, Bowser Mario and Fox now, uh, there, there was a door that we haven't gone into in the other central hub of the place. So I'm gonna go over here. And the area has to load for some reason. Yep, I'm there. Alright, so down there is the way we have to go. So, let's do it. Let's see, what time are we at, actually? Holy crap, 28 minutes. Yeah, we can do this one last thing. Yeah, I don't care, this thing is taking forever! This thing is taking forever! And you better freaking appreciate what I do. <laughs> and to those who are saying, yep, this is getting long. Dude, just wait until you see, just wait until you see the first part of Xenoblade. It's like 42 minutes long, man. Yeah, 42 minutes long. Anyway, minecarts ahoy, toot toot. Anyway, of course, of course, with the minecarts, you have to jump off at the appropriate time. And of course, the screen can't like, can't like freaking focus on the camera in the center, obviously. Let's see. Okay, there I am. And gotta jump off there, which will lead to another thing right here. So what is this thing? Tell us. It's DDD. All right. So DDD, of course, is going to be very hard to take care of because, well. DDD has all that power, has all that power backed into him, like I said before. So, yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard to deal with him. Unless, of course, I get him with, get him in one hit, like, I was about, and that would have been really hilarious if he just jumped right into the laser beam. I was like, holy crap, I got him, like, I got him with the laser. But then it was like, nope, nope, just not. 
Okay, so now we're over here, of all places. But, of course, I want to head back to that room with the minecart and the stuff, so... Prepare for the first... Actually, this is not really the first cut. I All I have to do is just go launch this barrel right here. See, even in the worst levels, they can at least... See, they... At the very least, they do have, like, ways for you to get over there faster. That's neat of them. <laughs> and I find it really hilarious that Pikachu is just like spinning over there. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's funny. See, even in the worst levels, they can they can at the very least have some pretty good design choices like that. In which they can actually freaking have a barrel wait, waiting for you in the wings right there. Alright, so where does... This leads to a trap, obviously. No. We're not having this. <laughs> I refuse to have this. But anyway, I, I do believe... I do believe this leads to another character. This leads to another character. I'm suddenly Mario. Alright, so now, this character. What do we have? We got Bowser. It's it's Bowser. Alright, so... Bowser, of course, powerhouse. Can't say enough. Can't say enough how much of a powerhouse he is. Which is why he won't kill me in one hit. Speaking of which, uh, uh... Can you count how many freaking times we fought Bowser in the Subspace Emissary anyway? Like, we fought him like, I don't know, one, two, three times maybe? Pretty much one, one to three times at this point in Subspace. You would imagine like, out of all the characters that we have to fight, Bowser would be the most prevalent. Sakurai knows, man. Sakurai knows how much of a villain he is. So, of course, with him being being like the villain of Nintendo, <laughs> obviously, or obviously, he has to be like the king of stuff. So, anyway, that was a lot, but I don't, but if you think this video is long, tough. Great maze. So, anyway, that will about do it for this. Next time on Let's Play Subspace Emissary, you know, you know the drill. More Great Maze. Obviously. Wow, we're 81%. Damn. Cool. <laughs> Might... I... Actually, I don't think we're going to reach 100%. No. I don't think so. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.